Hey there guys, what's going on today? Welcome to another putty review video from Pete MKF30. So, today I have a, another new one. Actually I have, a, I actually have a bunch of them. Let's move the putties from the last video here aside. Uh, this one's a brand new one. Also, I don't believe it's been reviewed yet on YouTube until now, so enjoy. This is a brand new color, brand new box called Glow Brights. Now, Initially, they were just called Glow in the Dark, Glows Cosmic. I think he just changed he changes the name of uh, some of the putty sometimes, or this is a, a brand new line altogether. But uh, so you can see, this is a brand new box art. It says on top the original and best. Crazy Aaron's Glow Bright, Thinking Putty Glows in the Dark. And then you got a picture of it here. It's kind of like a darkish green color, so definitely a more unique color. I never saw like a darkish greenish black putty before until now. So this is called Dragon Scales, new. The bottom, which just says the uh, the address, Putty World, etc. The side, normally they say bounce, stretch, twist, but it just shows pictures of that. And in the back, you see Dragon's Egg. Shape putty into an egg. Expose the bottom of the egg to light and turn out the lights to see a glowing baby dragon. Glow brights, collect them all. So you got Wizard's Wand. Uh, Enchanting Unicorn, which I believe I reviewed, uh, and Dragon Skull, so, yeah, that's the three of them. And then, picture of him with, uh, some of the workers there, and him, uh, creating the putty in the lab, or whatnot, and a picture of some of the putties that, like, these are from the treasure line, which I, I do plan on getting them in the future, hopefully I can get them all. Uh, you know, I kind of hate things, personally, uh, no matter what they are, where it's, you know, a type of uh, casino, more or less, where you have to gamble and hope that you get, you know, a putty, uh, in this case, that you want, or whatever you want, you know, and you have to pretty much just keep buying them over and over and over until you get all of them. So, uh, yeah, you know, there's 12 of them, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I don't know, I'm, I, I want to get the cool and newer ones out of the way first before I do the treasures, the treasure hunt for those one because I, I have had a few people ask me about those on my channel, so there you go. Uh, there's also a glitter line, I think they're called, what is that? I forget what they're called. It's hard, too small to see, but pretty much like Eternal Flame, and then there's another one that's like glittery blue with blue glitter in it. Uh, the glitter on the scented ones, I'm not a huge, huge fan of them. Um, I'll probably get them eventually. Like I said, I did review uh, some scented ones, which I, I, I did enjoy. Uh, but I really enjoyed these other ones, the ones with glow, the ones with crazy colors that change different colors, the, the illusion ones, uh, the clear, transparent ones. I think those are really cool, personally. So yeah, you got this one since 1998, Crazy Arms been making Thinking Putty in the USA with the help of exceptional individuals challenged with disabilities. Well, I live in New York City and not uh, Philadelphia. So, or was it Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Yeah. Yeah, but if I did, I would definitely at least apply if I lived near them. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I have really bad anxiety, so I, in a way, it feels really, you know, um, draining and uh, disabling, crippling at times. That's probably not what he means, but to me, you know, as somebody that suffers from his bad anxiety, uh, yeah. But I would do it just for the heck of it, you know, because I just love putty. I, I like weird, different things, you know. So anyway, so you got in the back here, explore more amazing creations from Crazy Aaron. Super Illusions, manufactured color shift and putty, hyper colors, changes color with heat, glow brights, thickened putty glows in the dark, cosmic glows, glitter glows in the dark. Ah, so that's the difference between them. Ghost Riders, draw with light, Liquid glass, totally transparent, magnetic storms, moves with magnets. So you can see he's updated the names of some of them, uh, which is kind of cool. Gives them all a, a, a sort of uniqueness, I guess you could say. Uh, so there's a box. And here's the putty. So that's the front of it. Back of it. The back of it says it's got like a, it looks like a, or is that a it looks like a sand castle, but it's actually just a castle castle. Uh, there may not be much proof that dragons ever existed, but they have intrigued but they have intrigued civilizations for centuries. Discover why the dragon why with dragon skills thinking putty. Let me try that again. I don't know why I'm butchering this. Okay. 
There may not be much proof that dragons ever existed, but they have intrigued civilizations for centuries. Discover why with Dragon Scout's thinking putty. Like a gleaming coat of reptilian armor, it shines with purple, gold, green, black, and silver glitter and glows a magical green in the dark. There. And then it says Putty World. Product may contain colorants that may stain. Uh, putty may stick to clothing, hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, fabric. Do not use the earplugs. Although I don't know why anyone put putty in your ear. All right. So, oh wow, look at that. That is no doubt the cleanest unboxing of putty I've ever done. Look at that. And I swear to God, I did not open this prior. <laughs> because if I did, I would have taken that out. Uh, so, that's a cool cut, like a black with all kinds of uh, unique uh, little glitter specks in there, all kinds of colors. And of course, the uh, this is part I hate. Oh, but it's not in there too bad. I gotta say, I do miss it. I do miss Crazy Aaron's little, uh, he used to have a disc with these, similar to the two inch ones, where you have like a little transparent piece of plastic, like right here. And right in the middle fit the, the, uh, the glow light. But then he changed it to these little baggies with his uh, brand on it. And they're literally engulfed within the putty, which you know, sometimes could be a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. But in another way, it's kind of fun, I suppose, to dig out the, the light out of the putty. It's almost like a little gift, I guess, you know. Um, but yeah, the only problem is sometimes it really, really sticks to the plastic here. All right. So, let's just... Oh, oh boy, what are we on? Seven minutes? Okay. All right. We got the UV light, which, by the way, whenever you get the cosmic ones or the glow brights or any of the glow in the dark or glowing ones or the uh, what's the other ones? Ghost Riders, the ones that you can write on it. Yeah, they all come with this little crazy little face. It's got a little hole, by the way. So if you want to tie a cord or a lanyard, you could carry it around your wrist or your neck, whatever. Okay, so let's take this putty out. But he also came out very smoothly. I gotta say, that's, that's cool. That's, that's, because <laughs> some of the buddies really stick. So this is like a really cool metallic looking black putty. Really cool. I wonder if, you, if it possible, hey Crazy Aaron, if you're watching this, maybe you can make, as part of the liquid glass translucent line, maybe a black, a transparent black putty. That would be, that would be something. All right. So you can see all the different the different uh, glittery colors in there. Definitely like a more of a, uh, I, I would say more of a blackish, maybe even kind of a dark green type of situation. It feels like a super illusion. So scale from one to 10, softness to hardness, it's like a one. Very soft, a lot of, a lot of glitter. Doesn't seem to be getting on my hands, which is a good thing. Sometimes that's an issue with putty in general, regardless of brand. It has all the glitter uh, within the putty. And uh, the more you play with it, the more it sticks on your hand. Tear it. Tear it smoothly. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right. And do a transparent window. I could do that for you. Should be possible. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. There's so much glitter in it though. I don't know how well it won't be as clear as the uh, translucent ones or the like the liquid glass or the super illusions, what have you, but so cool. Oh here, that, that looks cool. Check out that rip. Yeah, it looks like rock or coal or something, doesn't it? And he did have one like the cold bump of coal many years back. I have that too. That's pretty cool. So, stretch as well, tear as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. See how it bounces. 
bounce as well. Let's see how it sculpts. Uh, I'll try to sculpt the mini dragon, and then I'll then I'll uh, I will oops, I will do the glow test. Don't mind that little in the background. That's just uh, my iPad. Okay. So I actually have, I am a sculptor, I just haven't done anything in a long, long time with clay. But I have sculpted dragons before. It's actually one of my first sculptures way back as a, as a teenager. I used to... Yeah, so, okay. Well, you get the point. <laughs> okay. So it sculpts pretty well. Bounces well, stretches well. Uh, oh yeah, let's test out the memory effect. Twist it. Cool. It's definitely there. Alright. Yeah, memory effect is there. Okay, so... Bounces, let's see. Oh yeah, bubble pop, right? Let's see how it pops. Love pop in the party. All right. Oh yeah, doesn't really smell much. Not sure why that didn't pop. It's almost like the bubble literally fizzled out. The soft of the putty sometimes the more difficult it is to make it pop. Not gonna lie, like that. The harder the putty, the better the pop. And also the better the bounce. These are two facts I can tell you as a putty collector and somebody with lots of experience with you and all kinds of putties. There we go. So not the loudest, but not the worst either. It pops. So now let's test out the glow effect. Yeah, you guys ready for that? Yes, of course you are. All right. You stay there, dragon putty. Yeah. First, let me see if it, uh, oh, you kind of see a little, ooh, you see that? Check that out. Before I uh, shut the lights, you can kind of see the, the green there. You see it? Wow, I can tell this is going to glow really bright. Because you can literally see it in the daylight. That's cool. That is something out that you don't see too often. So that's really cool. And then it fades gradually. But, uh, yeah, so, going to kill the lights now. And see how this bad boy glows. You guys ready? One, two, three. Ooh, look at that. Good one to write. Watch what I write. Wow, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Check that out. Check that out. That is cool. And then you stretch it out, dragon. And then on the other side, get it right. A little bit more buddy there. All right, yeah. Dragon putty. So yeah, and if I charge it up. Pretty wicked. Yeah, it's <laughs> my dragon impression. All right, so yeah, guys, that's. I gotta say, this is a really one of my favorite glowing putties in a while. <coughs> it glows real bright, and it stays. So yeah, 
Dragon Putty, even though that, huh, let me see if I can do that last part a little bit better. Yep, Dragon, it looks like Dragon Puggy. <laughs> Dragon Putty though. All right, so. There we go, lights back on. So that's the Dragon Putty, guys. I hope you guys liked that video. Uh, I definitely rate this putty. It's uh, normally, I'm not a huge fan of the, the super glittery ones, but this is a really cool one. And I like how it's like black, like this blackish, uh, almost coal, you know, rough color in the daytime. And uh, that that really bright green in the, uh, in the dark. And then even in the daytime, you can still see the the green there so it's really cool all right guys well so that's that putty comment rate subscribe tell me your thoughts on that putty if you think it was cool and uh yeah comment rate subscribe that's dragon scales from crazy Aaron's glow brights brand new putty line Comment, rate, subscribe. Oh, and I'll see you later. Peace. Whee!